Hi family, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you five things you should never ever do when it comes to growing your hair. We always talk about things we should do, but I feel like we never talk about what you shouldn't do. With that being said, let's get into the video. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to tell you guys that this is November, which marks the sixth month of our six months no heat challenge. I have a lot of interesting and a lot of fun videos coming up and I also have my hair update from the six months of no heat challenge. So please look out for that. With that said, let's get back into this video. For those of you who are new, my name is Mercy. I'm an RN BSN and on this channel, I talk about nursing, lifestyle, beauty. I do a little bit of vlogging. I talk about feminine hygiene and I just do a little bit of everything. So if you would like to join the family, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and also hit the bell notification so you'll never ever miss another video. With that said, let's get right into number one. The number one thing you should never do or think when you're trying to grow your hair is that it is easy. And that is why a lot of people do not succeed when it comes to growing their hair or just you know transitioning to healthy hair. You need to be realistic about everything when it comes to growing your hair. So that is one thing you should never ever do is to overlook the process of actually growing or transitioning your hair. The second thing you should never ever do is rush the process. Again, this is not easy, it doesn't happen overnight, and that is one of the reasons I never ever do grow your hair overnight or grow your hair in two days videos because that is not true. That is just not true. Maybe some magical Rapunzel somewhere can, you know, grow inches of hair overnight, but if you're human, just like the rest of us, it's going to take patience and it's going to take consistency. Don't think that if I start, you know, Mercy's natural hair routine today, my hair is going to grow just like her, or if I try Peter's natural hair routine is going to grow overnight just like his. Again, growing hair is unique for everyone. Some of us grow hair faster than others, but overall, I would say anyone coming into this space of trying to grow their hair or trying to have healthier hair, you need to understand that it's gonna take time. That is also the reason why I have a natural hair challenge with my subscribers, but it is a six month challenge. It's not a six days challenge. It's not a six weeks challenge. It is a six month challenge for a reason. I didn't just choose six months because it sounds good. I chose that because that is enough time for anyone's hair to grow change or improve even with a lot of you know expensive hair products they always tell you it takes about one to three months to start to see results they don't even tell you you're gonna have a full head of hair in three months they say you're gonna start to see results and that's realistic now mind you a lot of people can grow half an inch or up to an inch of hair in a month's time some people can be a little bit faster than that but overall, any human will tell you that it is not possible to literally grow hair overnight. So trust the process and be patient. The third thing you don't want to do when it comes to growing your hair is to just start. You want to have a goal in mind. Some people want to grow longer hair. Some people want to have healthier hair. Some people want to transition from relaxed to natural. Some people want to go from natural to relaxed. You always want to have a goal. That way, not only are you going to be excited when you do reach your goal, it also gives you something to look forward to. So let's say, for example, you get in your car. You never just get in your car and just drive to wherever because you will continue to drive until you can drive no more. But if you say, I'm going to drive to I don't know, Minnesota, or I'm going to drive to the grocery store. You know where you're going, you have a goal, and when you get there, you know that you're there. That is, to me, the best way to do it because, again, you don't just want to do anything. It's not just 
just even hair it's everything in life you have to have a goal whenever you're starting something so it can be about school it can be about owning your first home it can be about purchasing your first car before I'm 30 I want to do this before I'm 40 I want to accomplish this I want my hair to be up to my back I want my hair to be tailbone length I want my hair to you know have its natural curls again you have to set those goals for yourself so you know that you're either getting closer to them or you're not achieving them or what you can do to switch things up so you can achieve those goals the next thing that you never want to do when you're trying to grow your hair and this one is gonna sound silly but it's cutting your hair sometimes it may not be an actual haircut it may just be the way you're trimming your hair or who's trimming your hair I've had this problem before where I would go to a hair salon and the stylist gets scissors happy and they cut 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 there are tons and tons and tons of YouTube videos that are going to teach you how to trim your hair at home. Do understand that cutting your hair excessively or cutting the wrong amount of hair can stop you from getting to your goal. If you're trying to get to tilt bone and every time your hair reaches your shoulder, you cut it back to your jawbone, it's going to slow the process. Not that it's not going to grow because everybody's hair grows, but it's just going to slow the process for you and make you think that your hair is actually not growing when the truth is you're actually cutting more than you should be or maybe your stylist is cutting more hair than you should be cutting. I will advocate for getting frequent trims but just not too frequent. You have to listen to your hair. Everybody's hair is different. There is not a set time to, you know, go get a trim. So I'm not going to say it's monthly or weekly or bi-weekly. It's just up to your hair. You look at your hair, look at what it looks like. If it's uneven and unhealthy looking, then yes, that is when you know that it is time to get a trim. Tip number five is don't be a product junkie it can be super easy to do that especially with the millions and millions of natural hair videos but just because I have a natural hair video on a product that works for me doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna work for you or just because I showed you five products that could work for you doesn't mean that all of them are gonna work for you try every product one at a time let's take me for example I talk about aloe vera a lot and I also talk about rice water a lot but a lot of people find that when they use rice water it either dries their hair out because of the high content of protein so if you've tried it once or twice and you notice that then I would say yes maybe rice water is not for you try something else maybe the aloe vera I haven't had a lot of negative um, I guess comments about aloe vera except for the fact that it itches some people but it's not a crazy itch but then try aloe vera if you can't access aloe vera then try another treatment but just because I talk about five different products or five different brands or you know five different uh, treatments that works doesn't mean that you have to do each and every one of them you don't want to try every single product in your hair at once because number one you're not gonna know what's working for you number two you're gonna get tired and frustrated and you're gonna think that your hair doesn't grow when in fact it's you that's causing the problem just because you're doing too many things at once you have to focus on one process one product one treatment one technique at a time before you can move to the other one there was a time when I did a onion video I had done my research and I found that a lot of people were saying that onion does grow hair I heard it from healthcare professionals I've heard it from like older people I heard it from a whole bunch of people and I was like I'm gonna try it I tried it I did like it and I did have um, some positive results but the only thing was I hate the smell and I hate the process because it's onion I usually wash my hair like three times when I I wash it till the first time to um, you know get the dirt out the second time is when I actually start to see foam the third time is to just make sure that you know my hair is clean and the foam looks super white that is how I can tell that my hair is clean but when I use the onion I had to wash my hair like four or even five times I kept putting the um, shampoo in my hair over and over because I still could smell the onion so maybe the onions got in my clothes and it got on my skin and that's what I was smelling but I just didn't like the process it wasn't a pleasant one but yeah it did have some amazing results but I just didn't like the smell so that is just an example of you know not everything works for everyone I personally will not um, choose the onion method as my number one method. 
but rice water and aloe vera I can do that all day every day because I actually like the results and I actually also use them on my daughter's hair so that is it for the video y'all thank you guys so much for watching if you did like the video give it a big thumbs up and also if you haven't already joined the family please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell notification so you never miss another video thank you guys again so so much for your love and support I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one bye